hello guys and welcome back so now in this video what we're gonna do we will create the second type of zombie which will walk around to random points and then if the zombie sees the player then the zombie will chase and attack the player okay so for that first of all right here inside this zombie ai folder let's create a new script by the name of waypoint zombie ai let's double click on it and open it open it in the text editor right here let's remove the start and update method and let me tell you how this will work so for example if this is our zombie okay then we will type a code in which the zombie will walk to random points okay the zombie will choose the random points by itself okay we will not be adding the waypoints manually okay so what the zombie will do this will choose some location for example right here in the environment then the zombie will walk towards this point okay then from here the zombie will decide to go for example here then the zombie will walk there as well and the zombie can choose uh, different types of random points by itself okay so first of all many of things are same as our zombie ai so let's copy that things the first one will be the variables okay so just simply copy all of that variables and paste it right here then after the variables we need the start method so just copy it and paste it right here okay then after this we need the activate blood screen effect take damage die and instantiate and delete object okay so just copy them and paste them right here okay because these are the things which is similar to the zombie ai now once you do that right here now instead of this idle we need to click on change all occurrence or you can select the control f2 button if you are using the visual studio code okay not visual studio maybe it is same in visual studio well as well but i don't know okay so just click that and right here instead of the idle we will say walk or you can type petrol if you want as well then when you do this now let's give some space right here okay and let's add a update method okay and in the update method we will use the switch statement okay and right here we will pass the current state then we will add our first state and in that we will say if the zombie state is walk okay then we want the zombie to walk to random points okay but before making the zombie walk first of all we need to check if the zombie has reached its previous destination and also the zombie is not walking okay or you can say the zombie is not moving so we will say if the player is not moving okay and you will be thinking where this is moving come from right here if we scroll up okay right here after let's just say okay let's do it after this is attacking we will create a private bool by the name of is moving okay and by default set this to false that's it so now if this moving is not true and also if the name agent dot remaining distance is less than 0.1 f okay 
then right here what we will do we will make the zombie patrol after this right here after this update method let's create a private pool by the name of is player in range this will take a float by the name of range okay and in here we will return vector 3 dot distance first of all we will pass the zombie position then the player position and then we will say that if this is less than or equals to range okay so what we are doing in this is we are basically uh, measuring the distance between the zombie and the player okay and the reason we are doing this is then if the player is in range of the zombie then we will make the zombie chase the player and if I show you the zombie I script right here we also check for the position as well of the zombie and then the player and if that is less than or equals to the chase distance then we make the zombie chase the player okay but in this script I have decided to create a method okay now once we have this uh, is player in range now after this uh, if condition we will just simply say if the player is in range and then as you know that this player is in range requires a uh, float range so right here we can just simply pass the chase distance okay so now if the player is in range then we will set the current state to zombie state dot chase okay and then we will simply say break okay guys and as I told you this is also similar to our uh, zombie i script right here instead of typing this code right here inside the if condition we just created a different method for it okay and then we just simply call it right here and pass the chase distance to it okay instead of doing this less than or equals to chase distance so if you want you can do the same on the zombie ai script as well if you like this code style okay now after our first case now the second case will be if the zombie state is in chase okay so if the zombie is in chase right here i forgot to add this okay so make sure that you add that right there as well okay so now if the player i mean if the zombie is chasing then we will chase the player but for now we don't have a method for that so we will just leave a comment for ourselves and then after this we will say if the player is in range and that range is the attack distance then what we're gonna do we will set the current state to zombie state dot attack okay and then we will say break after this we will say if the zombie state is now attack then we will simply attack the player and then we will do the same as we did right here so I will just simply copy that paste it right here and this time you will say if the player is not in the attack distance then we will if the player is not in the attack distance then we will simply say zombie state dot chase okay then after this we have the last state which is the death of the zombie so that will be similar to this one so I will just simply copy this whole case from the zombie eye and paste it right here 
and we need to make some changes first of all you can either comment this or you can delete these animations because for now we don't have an animator for our zombie and after this everything else will be the same okay right here you just need to add the semicolon sign and since we are dealing with the nav mesh agent so at the top we need to add this using unity engine dot ai okay so make sure that you do that on your waypoint zombie i script as well now if we save the script and get back to unity it will show you this error okay so what we need to do in order to fix this is right here instead of this remaining distance we need to spell this remaining correctly okay because i have spelled that incorrectly and when you do that the error will be simply gone okay now right here let's click on the scene view and double click on the zombie one okay this is our zombie one but now we will be adding our second zombie character for example this one so what we can do we can just simply drag and drop it right there for example and then we need to click on prefab unpack completely name this as zombie 2 move it right there and first of all we need to attach the script so add the script then we need to attach the nav mesh agent capsule collider and animation animator actually so nav mesh agent if you turn on the gizmos there it is then the capsule collider and then animator but we will just drag and drop it first of all let's set up the capsule collider so we will move this to one the radius will be 0 0.3 and the height will be 2 okay like this and that will be it then we need to provide the nav mesh agent in there then we need to add the animator so if we click on zombies drag and drop this zombie to animator and then drag and drop it in there okay then we need to add the player transform so drag and drop the player and then it needs the blood screen effect so for that inside the zombies folder we have this blood screen effect prefab so just try and drop it all right our zombie 2 is ready but now if we play the game it will not do anything because we don't have the required function for it in order to patrol chase and attack the player so we're gonna do that in the next video.